Today on Drawly, we are looking at the art of Daryl Tan. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are drawing together because art is better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's take a look at Daryl's artwork. You did not tell me we were going to be looking at one of the concept artists for the only video game I've ever played <laughs> as an adult. Oh my gosh. Not the only video game you've ever played, but a video game that's near and dear to your heart. I haven't played a video game with this much complexity since LEGO Racers 2. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, everything else I've played has not been like competitive. Well, um, here you get to see some of the original concept art for the character Lifeweaver. This is Overwatch. amazing. This is amazing. So I believe that this was their first project or first character that they worked on for Overwatch officially. Really? Really? Well, they nailed it. Everybody loves Lifeweaver's design. I, I love how a lot of this stuff didn't actually make it into the game. Like, maybe that's his, like, ultimate ability or something, but... Definitely a lot of this did make it into the game. Yeah, or maybe we're not paying close enough attention. Or you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's there. Maybe maybe it is there. Wow. But uh, obviously, like, concepting-wise, this is really cool to see. But, you know, execution-wise, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on here, too. The fact that this is now, like, in-game, like, playable, seeable, seeable, visible. <laughs> it is so, so cool. Yeah, you can also see like, I, this is the life grip called the helix tether here in the concept. So you can see like where things have changed. Like the visuals also different in game slightly. Yeah, the can, tree is definitely spot on. Yeah, yeah. Oh it's my super goodness. Super cool to see. Like, you know, obviously we play this game a lot and I'm sure a lot of people watching have played this game before. So getting to see where it all started and how it ended up like finalized in the game is always super cool. Oh, but cool. he didn't just work on Life Weaver. No, he also did a skin. A, a skin for Ramatra, which That's awesome. is a character I've been really enjoying playing lately. Yeah. He's just I don't, I don't want to say easy, but he's a, a relatively simple character. I've never taken to, the time to, to see if Poseidon Ramatra has those big tentacles, because usually if he's gone into Nemesis form, I'm screaming and running the other direction. <laughs> ah, ah, we gotta get away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I need this skin, is what I've decided. Because if it's it, really do you think cool. It, uh, now I need to know if it has those tentacles. <laughs> That's really, really cool. Abby notoriously loves tentacles. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, getting to see Arissa yeah. 2.0, which is yeah. you know, obviously just the version for Overwatch 2. That's a big deal. Yeah. A lot of a lot of um, slight differences for most of the cast. Some bigger than others from mm -hmm. Overwatch 1 to 2. But. Yeah, really cool getting to see like the breakdown of the, the weapons, like the POV of the character here in the bottom left. I really enjoy like, that's cool that they took the time to like say, hey, here's what it'll look like on the person's screen. That's amazing. This is a professional artist. This artist is the, uh, the consummate professional. That, I mean, creating art for other people's and being paid for it. Yes, a professional yes. artist. Wow. Ooh, I love the uh, effect of like the spear coming out of a portal. I normally that ability happens so fast. I've never seen it like do that, but that would be cool to pay closer attention to that. This has me convinced that AI will never ever replace humans when it comes to like concepting, creating. Like this is just so amazing. Uh, this is an original character of theirs that they created for a class that they teach. That's awesome. Um, creating a hero for like a game like Overwatch and theming it around kicking was the idea for this one. Do they teach a class on concepting? Uh, I, I'm not sure if they're teaching right now. Um, if you want to find out more about Daryl and what he does, of course, there's a link below in the description to their art station. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if they do it right now, but mm -hmm. I'm sure you could very easily find out. Absolutely. This is so cool. Look at these. He, he clearly has a very good mastery of like mechanics and bionics and like hard surfaces, but yeah. also making them look super interesting. Like this detail in the leg is like so intricate. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on there, the way it's interconnecting, but also feeling like anatomical form. Like with the calf muscle, the gastrocnemius, yeah. even having it like split down the middle for the two heads of the calf. Right, like, right. Like very, and the, the, like the hamstrings wrapping around, mm -hmm. like very intricate, like clearly this person knows their anatomical form. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool to see, like going from like a post sketch 
Then let's add some detail. You know where I would max out? Probably the first one. Step one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, me and too. this is by my powers <laughs> and your powers combined. And uh, this was another one, you know, uh, original character, same idea. I don't remember the prompt for this one though. Um, something like, it's a flying knight, though. Yeah. You have the basic idea. She looks super cool. She's got like little stingers, but she's also a flower. Maybe she's a nettle. I freaking love the shape of the helmet. Mm. Like, it's a classic orb, like, helmet, astronaut shape, but then it has the knight visor on top of that. Mm. I love that so much. It's such a cool design choice. So awesome. I love, like, just everything about this. Like. I, I couldn't, like, this is concepting. This is amazing. You have to just know so much and have seen so much, surely, to pull this out of your heads from somewhere. And uh, I believe this was Daryl's self-described simple rendering style, is how they referred to it. Mm. You know, we have you know, flat colors and then, ta-da! <laughs> well, I would love to be at the level of simple rendering style here, because this is so cool. Yeah, it is super cool. And uh, I love this one because it's just a shark strapped into this like mech suit, which is so fun. So funny. <laughs> and now he's got arms and legs, so I, look out. <laughs> you look at it from the front on the left and you're like, oh, whoa, like a shark humanoid creature. And then you look at the back and you're like, oh no, he's just like slapped in there. <laughs> <laughs> this poor shark. <laughs> I don't know. I think he likes it. Yeah, he appears to be all about it. Ooh, lifeguard fair. Is that an actual skin in the game right now? I do believe so, or if not, it's coming soon. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I believe it's in the game, as well as the uh, Bushi Genji. Yeah, video, that's, is... I believe that's there. Yeah. This is so fun. And uh, then he also worked on the design for the Behemoth Null mm -hmm. Sector character, the big one in the middle here. Um, oh, yeah, I've fought these. Oh, I've done, I've shot these before. I've killed these, I've blown them up. Um, yeah, so again, more like awesome mechanical stuff that's just really, really fun to look at. Wow, wow. I'm sure he works extremely hard because these look incredibly difficult to do. And if you want to work extremely hard, boy, maybe that's not the best pitch. Click that like and subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, at the link below in the description. That's a better pitch. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Ben... Which character do you think Daryl Tan plays Overwatch? Do you think he'll play with us? I on Overwatch? Think, do you think I th we've ever played with him by accident and not known it? I think we've played with Daryl before, considering the amount of time we've played Overwatch. Yeah. But if not, we'll invite Daryl to come play again. Oh, with us. that would be amazing. He could just point things out to us like, and I designed that, and I designed and that, that, and that. that. Oh, it'd be so cool. <laughs> <laughs>